good news is we have piglets. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to Farming Simulator 19 here on New Woodshire. Folks, today we have piglets. We have piglets. And bad news is <laughs> we still got a bank loan. <sighs> it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Now, as you can see, our trailer's at the south farm. And uh, it, it, it's kind of low on. Hey. Uh, yeah, let's go in here first. Our bank loan is 775K now. And of course, we are minus $6,176 right now. But that's going to change because we have a couple of these. Contracts we got three fertilized contracts, they'll bring us out pretty quick. Uh, our piglets we have four types pink, white, black, black, and white, and three each, giving us 12 pigs. Um, yeah, I pulled out some stuff from the silo, uh, sugar beets, uh canola and barley is what I gave them and as you can see there I pulled out 214 liters of corn they done went through that overnight um, also ended up getting a couple extra cows as you can see here uh, gave them some tea MR Total mixed reactions. Yeah, we'll get into that too. Our sheep's doing pretty good. We're up to 16 now. Uh, 39 hours to the next, 39 and a half actually, to the next sheep. So, and our horses, I have not got a chance to name them yet, but uh, they are doing pretty good. Uh, we got work on this, but. If we look at our other map or our other data, uh, you probably see right here where it's purple, where it's been harvested. I bought this little section right here. This was like, yeah, it's 4220. Well, I turned around and sold it. That's, that's why it is harvested. Uh, of course, we bought Phil 11. Um, trying to think I've done a lot of contracts uh, weeding and fertilizing 19 is pretty much it's not this is the harvest stage but we can harvest it when it's yellow it goes kind of yellow orange and dark orange is the stages um, I'm wanting fill 21 and 13 badly so what we're going to do is wrap some more uh, bales and turn them into a silage and sell them and uh, I think it brings you all up to date set for the equipment now as you can see over there there's our weeder there's our weeder right there and then on around here is our TMR mixer now I probably could have got the Anderson but it was only 29,000 liters this in here is 40,000 liters and I just had enough to mix like a tiny bit for the cows because there's a problem there's a problem the silage bells that I made it's on the truck over here I believe uh, it's 20,000 liter bales. We have to bring it down to 4,000 liter bales. Let's see. Let's go look at the rest of our equipment. Yeah, let's see. Let's shoot through here. We got our international case on the mowers. We still got the old four wheel drive. You probably look 
Well, I ain't seen them before. Folks, let me look, make sure ain't nothing coming. We now have a 4960 John Deere. I love this tractor. It's one I used to drive when I did work on the farm. Uh, mine had duels. We, we got duels for this. Um, also, uh, I was pulling like an eight row, six row? I think it was a six row chisel plow. Uh, sorry, folks, I was reading that text. Uh, Mom and the kids are out and about paying bills and stuff, and uh, they just said smoke's coming from the hood, so probably have to get off here real quick. They're going to let it cool. They're up in town. And, uh, this is not our JCB that we had. It was having some troubles, some issues. So I talked to the guy at the market shop. And of course, we just took the tractor up there and traded for this one. Uh, it's by Stevie, Stevie Mods. And uh, well, let's check his suit out. Pretty much the same. It's uh, a little bit newer. Uh, still the middle class. Alright, let's go up here. Look at the John Deere inside. I, I love the tinted windows. But we do have the, uh, I think it's the 3000 series GPS on it. But it's set for these three monitors there and that big monitor. I didn't have that back when I was driving it my my time there. But the console and the gear shift levers and stuff are identical. I mean, every who done this done an awesome job. Radio and stuff. Yep. I just love it. But anyway, folks, that's got y'all up to, no, it don't. It don't have y'all up to date. Um, one more thing. Let's go in here real quick. Forgot to tell you. Forgot to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're probably wondering, like, Mr. Blue, what now? I forgot to tell you about this. Field 3. We have Field 3, folks. And you're probably like, oh, okay, no big deal, Mr. Blue. Well, it is a big deal. Um, let's go back to this. I now own this little strip. And we're going to get this strip and field 12. And, um, <laughs> yeah. We're going to do some tree work. I got plans for this strip and this strip here. Uh, Matt and Bob, 3 and 12. But, uh, yeah, we got some trees to harvest now. So that's how we might end up getting our money to buy uh, probably 13 next. Probably, probably so, folks. But anyway, we got some work to get to doing. So, uh, yeah, let's hop to it. All right, I made uh, be two, be around all the way around the field, so two passes around. And you see right there where it missed it a little bit. Well, the hired worker will recognize it as a different field, so I'm gonna have to pretty much do this all the way through myself unless I just let it do that field and put it over here and do this field and go down the middle uh, I don't really want to do all that but then again at the same time I can't do nothing until I get this mowed which it won't take long to mow it you know, straight through strips 8.3 meters wide Gave myself enough room on the end just to turn around. I think I'll do, do it like this. And just run up and down real quick. And then after this, we can put 
everything else on follow me and do it all in one go uh, wind roller baler and of course this field here it's going to be all 20,000 uh, liter bales and we're going to wrap them and load them on the trailer and hopefully the price is good I'm going to go sell them and we're going to try to get uh, about two hundred thousand dollars try now with this you see this field over here has been limed behind me here and fertilized that's our field too I think I told you about that on the last one we got some trees at the end there to get rid of we're going to join these three fields together we're going to plow them up but I want to do some smoothing right down through there. You can see it goes up to the highway. I mean, it's just a little bit lower right before the highway there. And you saw that little hump right there I went across. I want to smooth all that out. So, and that was another one, looked like. Well, I smooth those humps out and plow this whole thing and lime it and fertilize it and never in the cycle yeah uh i got yeah probably seen that truck over like mr Lee, you didn't tell us about the truck we got a new cab over also and i'll show that to y'all here in a minute but i'm gonna finish mowing this field you see it's not going to take very long at all to get across so uh, i will be back in just a few minutes that be a second for y'all. All right, coming up to the last right here. Got it all mowed. It didn't take long. Get this bad boy folded up. We're going to go on down here and park them. And then uh, since this episode's getting kind of long, we're going to probably do the rest of another episode. Let me turn my GPS off real quick. One down the road, I don't want to accidentally swerve or anything. Alright, pull that in here. We're going to check out this truck. truck. Hmm. Yeah, I thought there's some poles right there. I wish we could move them. I could if I had Giants there, but I got it installed. I just can't keep it to stay blocked. It, once it opens, it shuts off. But anyway, this is our Kenworth. Um, just a regular single cab over. Nice tires on it. I probably think this costs a fortune. No, it's actually pretty cheap pretty cheap let's uh, go in the store real quick want to check it out it's going to be under trucks and let's see here yeah I, I can't I would love to get those I got them installed as you can see but uh, we might get them pretty soon when we get more money coming in and right here is we got two different kinds actually uh, 1974 Kenworth and uh, don't know what year this one is but this is the one we got uh, only 43,000 would have paid for it and uh, yeah, it, <laughs> folks it was still it's a nice looking truck and everything just one problem it starts good it runs good it's got a lot of horsepower and, and, and it's just Everything's hunky dory, except for this. Driver's seat's supposed to be over there, not over here. It's a uh, where's that where they drive different than us uh, over in the UK, United Kingdom, or, or something like that. 
with the steering wheels on the passenger side, uh, well, to us anyway, here in the United States. Uh, no offense to anybody, I'm not making fun or anything, if it even sounds like it, I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, this is totally weird for me, because I'm used to the wheel being over there. Um, I can get used to this. You know, for this price, I can get used to this. Look at look at the truck. The truck is just awesome. And, you, well, you can kind of see me in my cowboy hat on. Tree gets out of the way. But, yeah, I, I like it. But this is the bells I got so far off of uh, the field behind me. Uh... It was in two different stages, so I let it grow out to where this be one stage. But yeah, we got to get these bells wrapped and stuff. Eh. But we're going to do this on the next episode. I got to go change a flat tire. Again. I don't know. I, I'm starting to think somebody's doing it, but I, I, I kind of know better than that because. Uh, it was fine and dandy when we left here, or when they left, mom and the kids. Uh, tire was up good. You know, it just one of those things. She got to uh, the town where we pay her bills and buy groceries at. They were going to buy some groceries and <sighs> had another flat tire. Pretty good size nail went through the other one, so I don't know which tire it is, but some gentlemen helped them change it and uh, that charged them for changing it so good Samaritan good Samaritan um, needs to be a lot more people like that but folks what I got planned and this is probably going to be in the next episode but I'll probably get started on some off screen so it won't take so long for y'all we're going to windrow bail wrap and pick up with her semi and uh, go sell them. We got some tree work we got to do here. I don't know if we'll get to it next episode, but we're going to put down some chicken coops somewhere. If it's not in a, it might be in a forest area over there, or it might be a couple down through here, and then our grass field starts. I don't know yet, but we'll find out in the next episode. I love each and every one of y'all folks. Appreciate y'all. A hundred percent. hundred plus. It, it's just. It's amazing. It is truly amazing. How wonderful y'all are. And having to say that. We got a lot of work to do. So I'll see y'all in the next episode. Let's go check on our piglets. Our little piglets. Hey y'all. Yeah, I gotta get y'all some corn. Okay. See y'all in the next episode, folks. Y'all have a blessed day. A great day. Oh, wait. A great day. A blessed day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.